Hi there, this is my vlog for my entrepreneurial marketing module. Today I'm going to be looking at what entrepreneurial marketing means, followed by a look into my chosen business and how the micro and macro environment will affect businesses' ability to perform its marketing activities. I'm also going to go over what activities the business is currently operating, as well as giving a recommendation on how they can improve in this area. So entrepreneurial marketing doesn't have one simple definition. Whilst the term can be loosely defined, many people have opposing opinions on the actual specifics of the term. Stokes in the 2000 wrote that the main thrust of entrepreneurial marketing is an emphasis on adapting marketing to forms that are appropriate to small and medium-sized enterprises, or SMEs, acknowledging the likely pivotal role of the entrepreneur in any marketing activities. However, in 2016, Chaston wrote the definition as the behaviour exhibited by an individual and or organisation which adapts a philosophy of challenging established market conventions during the process of developing new solutions. As can clearly be seen, these two definitions disagree with one another. Stokes is, Stokes is based around the idea that entrepreneurial marketing is restricted to small organisations, while Chaston's definition concludes that an organisation which undertakes risk in order to challenge market conventions is undertaking entrepreneurial marketing. However, the general view on what entrepreneurial marketing broadly focuses on is organisations with limited budgets that prioritise innovation and opportunity. The Fenton is a relatively small pub located in Leeds on Woodhouse Lane. Being close to both the University of Leeds and the Leeds Beckett City Campus, it's quite well known due to both its location and the fact that it's one of the final pubs on the Otley Run, which is a pub crawl that starts in Headley and ends in the centre of Leeds. To understand the marketing environment, you need to look at two areas. These are the micro-environment and the macro-environment. Kotler et al. in 2008 defined the macro-environment as the large societal forces that affect the whole micro-environment demographic, economic, natural, technological, political and cultural forces. The key characteristics of the macro-environment are outside of the control of the organisation and entrepreneur, volatile, unpredictable, constantly moving and forces energised and conflict with each other. Concerning the political factor, there is currently a strong political climate in the UK. Whilst many other pubs and venues choose to remain apolitical, Fenton isn't afraid of voicing its opinion from time to time. This can be both a benefit and a detriment as essentially choosing a side gives the opportunity for an area of the customer base to feel alienated. However, the fencing is situated in a very left-leaning area, meaning this choice doesn't prove too damaging. In regards to technology, the UK, and in particular students, the pub's main customers, have their lives revolved around technology to a really great extent. The pub makes use of this by having a games console available for free use, with a large selection of games also available. The fact that the console is a Nintendo 64, a relatively old console, is beneficial to its marketing as older consoles are seen as hipsterish, prove very popular with students. The pub also has a jukebox, which helps to differentiate the pub from its competitors as jukeboxes are not as available as they once were. There are a bunch of potential microanalysis tools that can be applied to the microenvironment. However, these tools come with a range of flaws. In regards to employees, the Fenton has a young demographic for its staff. This helps to make the pub more friendly and comfortable to its main customer base, which is students and other young people. So here comes my recommendation. The pub sells its own beer on tap, which is a pale ale named after the pub. This beer is hugely popular with people who, who frequent the pub due to its cheap price and unique taste. Since this beer is currently only available on draft, the Fenton could start bottling this beer to sell not only in the premises, but also at shops. This could help greatly to market the name whilst also making money from sales in the process. People who may never set people who may never have set foot in the pub before may buy the beer at another location. If they like it, they may be incentivized to go to the pub. The pub currently does not seem to market its perhaps biggest USP over other local pubs. In the pub's advertising, which is posters and flyers, there's never any mention of their homebrew. This could change. Whilst the pub already has a social media presence, its activity on it is far and few in between. Having a Facebook account and a Twitter account that hasn't been active for years, a recommendation would be for an Instagram account to be made and to be used consistently. Instagram is very popular among, amongst the pub's target demographic, making this a great platform to use for its marketing, also given a closer relationship between the customer and the business.